guys, I'm going to show you how to make these cute little glue gun teddy bears. Um, what you're going to need is some mica powder, a paintbrush, some glitter glue, preferably black. Um, and a mould. Well, you don't really have to use a mould. Um, you could use anything around the house. I mean, this is just a palette. Or, if you don't have anything, you can just do freehand. I use moulds because I can never get freehand right. And I like the fact that, um, it kind of domes upwards. I'm not sure if you can see that. And if you're going to make your little teddy bear into a charm, you're going to want a piece of wire. Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to make the um, your head. So if you're using a mould, what you need to do is you need to get some oil and just grease up your mould. Fun times. And then you put how much ever hot glue you need. Hmm. I think that should be about enough. So now you just want to make, um, well, sorry, wait um, two or three minutes. Okay, so now I have just taken out what was in my mold and I got something like this. Now, um, I'm not sure if you can see this, but here where I peeled it out, um, um, there are like marks on it, um, so don't worry about them if you've been using a mold. Um, all you, because what's going to happen is we are going to um, um, use make some ears to cover up your little marks. Okay, so. Now we are just going to make the ears. All you want to do is you're either going to just make a little circle um, or you might want to make um, a curved shape. Either way works, but circles are easier for me. So just twirl it around like that and there. So soon um, the marks that have been made with your nail should be um, gone, well hidden. And now we do the other side. Oops, my hands are so shaky. And um, I guess you don't have to do this, but I like to. You might just want to put um, a, little, a little nose on. I mean, you're going to do it with your um, glitter glue. But, yeah, just a snout or whatever you call it. And you need to wait for those to dry. Okay, so here is my teddy bear face so far. Now, if you want to make it a charm, I would do it at this point. So you just want to get a small piece of wire and use your glue gun to glue it on. Now, if you're doing it freehand, um, you really should um, put your wire, piece of wire in um, before it's dry. I Okay, um, if you have used your mold, just put a small dot of glue 
here and just stick your piece of wire in just like that so I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry okay so now that I have just added the piece of wire on I am going to get some mica powder on it you can use any color but I prefer brown so all you want to do for those who haven't used mica powder before um, is if you've ha got um, a little key well, piece of wire on you just want to hold it by there it's quite convenient and you just want to put your teddy bear over the pot so any excess powder can fall down and just dust it over with your paintbrush so just like that I don't really know why all these little marks are on its face I really don't I make better ones than this Oh well, we'll figure out some way to hide them. Okay, so now that that's done, but when you're doing it, please, it would be like best if you didn't get all these marks on it. I mean, you can see it better when you have the powder on. Okay, so now I'm going to put the glue circle on. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Glitter glue can be annoying. If stuff like this happens, you just want to get a small object and just stuff it in your glitter glue. There it is. Hmm, that looks quite weird. I might start that again. Don't worry if you go wrong. I always go wrong. And if there's any black glitter on your ears or anywhere, just use your brush and dust them off and if that doesn't work you can always go over them with mica powder now if I just do that eye again there we go and now I'm just going to put the little nose on there we go that looks cute so you just want to wait for them to dry but there is my finished bear Thanks for watching.